Hello everyone, my name is Naps, welcome back to Subnautica part 22, and we're getting pretty close to the end, save for a little bit of grinding that I'm going to have to do. Uh, that's just a random downhill slope for no reason. Uh, okay. Ooh. Aww. Aw, aw. Bait. Bait, bait, bait. Hey, come on. That's. Found preserved in a display case. It was likely a child of the adult specimen contained within the facility. Physiology. Superficial damage to the specimen indicates it was artificially removed from its egg casing. Stunted tissue development suggests the organism expired during the removal process. Tissue samples have been taken from the digestive tract. Analysis. It appears the aliens were attempting to formulate a cure for the bacterium from enzymes produced in this specimen's digestive system. Without a young, healthy... Without a young, healthy specimen, these efforts were in vain. Um, damn. The situation just sucks all around. I mean, uh, I get they were desperate. 143 billion precursors died. I imagine they were willing to do just about anything, but it's still... Socks. Oh, preserved egg casing. I thought I could scan that. Um, shell composition. The shell casing is formed from thick layers of carbon composite, suggesting an extensive gestation period. This leviathan may give birth just once per century, perhaps just once in their lifetimes. Shell casing incisions. Precise in incisions suggest a laser-based tool was used to cut open the egg casing and forcibly remove the fetus inside prior to full gestation. Analysis. Time pressure to develop a bacterial vaccine may have driven the alien researchers to cut open this egg and remove the fetus for study. Exactly what I said. It is also possible that, removed from its parent and natural habitat, some vital condition for the infant to hatch naturally was not met. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that's our first clue that we're gonna need something for the eggs to hatch. QQ! Alright. Now... Now, it's Welcome time. Aboard, we're going in. We're going to meet... The Sea Emperor Leviathan. Are you shitting me? <laughs> Dick. Okay. Um, what do I need? I need ion cubes and kyanite. I'm almost positive. Can you sit, please? Storage. Ion cubes. Yep. All I'm missing is the kyanite. Frig. Um. Uh. What are the chances there's some kyanite kicking around? Like, right here. No such luck. Okay. Next possibility. What are the chances I have some kyanite kicking around in storage? Oops. Sorry. Uh. Oh, but I'll take the extra ion cubes. Nope. Nope. Heck. All right. 
Ugh. Fine, fine. I'll do it the old fashioned way. <sighs> Lame. Oh, that way. I see some right over there. I don't know if a head slow stops me from... Okay. Engine powering down. There. Right there. Right there. I thought... Yes. There. Yeah, he looks kind of mad at me. I don't really want to tussle with him currently. Drill kyanite. Shh. Oh uh, yeah, he's turning around. Two. Four. Shut up. Why? You dick! Yeah? What? Little shit. It is normal when oh, first hi. piloting a prawn suit to feel a sense of limitless power. Oh! Prawn operators receive weeks of training to counteract this phenomenon. Oh! You will have to make do with self discipline. Yeah, thanks! Did I? No! Oh no! And uh, today I learned that uh, taking a um, fireball to the face does in fact result in death. Of the death kind. Actually, yes, we would like to lose all unsaved progress. Ah, uh, shoot! Oh god, I don't even know how long I've been going at this for. Mm -mm. Okay. Okay, where am I? Yes, right back where I was. Okay. So. Welcome aboard, Captain. Yeah, yeah. Let's hope that I only need two. Kyanite times two. That's it, we're good. We are leaving. We are not sticking around long enough for our friend, the shitty fireball dragon, to myrtleize us again. Bye. Oh, I need my fabricator. That's okay. Open storage. Uh, okay. We're gonna hope that's enough. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Welcome on board, Captain. Systems online. Mm hmm That's good. 
Blue tablet. Yes, it is. Let's go. Yep. There we go. Oh. Yeah, yeah. We're fine. We're fine. We are so fine. We have a blue tablet. Life is good. And it caused a little bit of, or it required a little bit of, uh, whoopsie daisies, but that's okay. Uh, we're gonna save. <laughs> Insert tablet. In we go. Right, I'm gonna go around to the other side first, just to see what's uh, over there. Chances are it's nothing. That, yeah, that gate looks very, very, very sealed. That's okay. This is it. I never did start my timer. This is it. We're gonna meet her. Hi. Uh, uh. Hi. Are you here to play? Aww. Others came here once. They built these walls. They played alone. They bored me. Now they're gone. And instead, we have you. We are curious whether you swim with the current or fight against it as they did. leave the prawn suit up here. I love how she's she's massive. Like actually massive. Ooh. Okay. Detecting unusually passive behavioral patterns in nearby predators. Reason unknown. Unlike other alien facilities, scans indicate this location supports a diverse and healthy ecosystem. Explanation unclear at this time. Yep. Environment scans indicate the water here is rich with a rare, plankton-like life form which depends on the organic detritus produced by the ecosystem around it. I imagine detritus means, uh, waste. Um... I'm just realizing this little facility here is quite deep and that therefore maybe I want uh, I want keener I want my keener I would like to not drown right here at the end of my at the end of the game that would uh, that would suck and I don't want to do that hi she is massive All right we might come to regret this later, but we bonk sixteen hundred meters down. Wow. She's 
swimming. Huh? I'm not sure if it's... I seem to recall the music being different. Hang on. Um... ALZ chamber. Eggs. Hi. Are you coming here? You are. Oh, hi. Okay, that's creepy. Actually, one, two, three, four, five eggs. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Mm -hmm. She's so gorgeous and majestic. And yes. Eh? What's happening? No. Do I maybe do I need to scan the eggs maybe? Incubator. Very exciting. Advanced theories. Hatching enzymes. Is she landing? No, she's not. The emperor specimen's eggs are attached to some form of incubator. In a normal life cycle, it seems uh, likely that sea emperors would have buried their eggs in shallower waters, where different organic materials in the soil would have triggered a hatching response. The incubator suggests the aliens had resorted to developing artificial hatching enzymes which would simulate the egg's natural hatching environment, but were unable to discover the formula. With extensive information on the sea emperors themselves, it may still be possible to fabricate an artificial hatching enzyme using an indigenous ingredient. However, the only surviving source of that information may be the sea emperor itself okay cool back oh ion cube tell me I have an ion cube I do thank god <gasps> oh hi hi my young need to hatch to play outside this place. We have been here so long. The others built a passage to reach the world outside. I asked them for this freedom, but they could not hear me. If you help us, I will give you freely what the others tried in vain to take. She sounds mad. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, and I have no hatching ends. I eh. sea emperor eggs. Oh, heck. Oh, uh, what? Swim charge. That's what I thought. Um. Oh, let's pop back into the prawn before we read. Uncommonly strong shell lining. Organic growth on the exterior suggests these eggs. Maybe hundreds or thousands of years old. Alien tubes. Alien devices penetrate the outer shell layer, likely designed to supply them with nutrients and to isolate them from the surrounding environment. Amniotic sac. Like many eggs on 4546B, these do not contain a nutrient supply which is slowly exhausted by the embryo. Instead, they exist in a form of natural stasis, awaiting appropriate hatching conditions. Fetal organism. There is a high genetic match between these organisms and the leviathan in the vicinity. They appear to be stable and healthy. 
it is likely that ideal hatching conditions for the eggs vary considerably from ideal survival conditions for the parent. Wait. Okay. So it's the eggs are born in different, in somewhere different than where the parent normally is. Got it. Do I have water? you have opened, my young can leave this place. But first they must feel the time is right and break free of their shells. This is what the others could not force from me. To you, I give the secret willingly. Near blueprint acquired. Heck yes. Um... Hatching enzyme. A fuck ton. Um. Uh, given their sparse population, mating and egg laying was likely in. Oops. Sea Emperor's lifestyle. Available biological data has been used to synthesize the effects of the alien bacterium on the Sea Emperor's natural life cycle. This creature likely lived and moved in small herds around the planet's ocean trenches, coming to the surface to feed off the huge volumes of microorganisms in the shallower waters. Family size would be strictly limited by available food supply. Offspring would likely split off at a young age to form their own herds elsewhere. Given their sparse population, mating and egg laying, laying was likely infrequent, perhaps a once-in-a-lifetime event. The species likely had a preferred environment for egg laying. In fact, this successful hatching may depend on such conditions. Given the rarity of this event, it is impossible to calculate those conditions precisely. There is no evidence to support the assumption that all members of the species were immune from the alien bacterium. Even if this is so, there is evidence that introduction of the bacterium decimated life on the planet, and this would have led this would have had catastrophic effects on the Emperor's food supply and survival rate. The symbiotic relationship between this specimen and other life forms likely developed as a direct result of the bacterial infection. Those life forms which learned to keep the Emperor alive survived with its help. This may explain the vast tracts of li lifeless ocean in a rough perimeter around the Emperor's location. Okay. So, we will save. We will leave. Where are we? Alien moon pool. Okay, what do I need? Oh. <laughs> nope. Let's go back the old fashioned way. Um. Oh, hi. And heck, you know what? I will come back when I have. I will come back when I have all of the enzymes and everything that I need. That should keep this episode down to a relatively decent level. is with the music in this chamber. Oh, hang on. There was... I think it's right there, actually. I think... I think... right over there... is a phase gate. Of some variety. Yes, 
right there. Heckin' amazing. Eye on... Oh, that's convenient. Ready to go. Okay. This just brings me back to the main entrance, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, that's what I thought. Yeah, that's what I thought. We're not in the water, we're just... Yep, it still thinks we're on land. That's good. Okay. Now, we take these various portals back to the different biomes to get a sample of all the things we need. Oh, frig, it's right there? Oh, god. Oh. There it is. So, right there. Yeah, that's a ghost weed. Not. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Ghost weed. Welcome aboard, Captain. Got what I needed. Let's just go right back through the cave. And not spare another moment of thought to that friggin' Leviathan. Ooh, Ruby. Okay. Where are we? What the heck am I looking for? Oh. The eye stock. Right here. There we go. Nice. Where are we? Um, that one biome I very rarely visit. I forget what it's called. Um, yep, I forget what it's called. But I have a vague idea. Okay. Where are we now? Come on. Don't even start with me right now, Keener, please. Oh, bulbs on. That's it, I got what I needed. you not. Yep. There's that calcified whatever whatever. So this looks mushroom foresty. Oh. Yeah. Which is where I would get the fungal sample. Up. Nope. These are caves. I can barely see. Oh, up. Okay, let's. Fungal sample. Okay. Aha! I thought there was something in the Sea Emperor Leviathan's aquarium. 
and there is. That would be the Sea Crown. That makes sense, actually. Sea Emperor Leviathan, Sea Crown. Um, let's, I think it's here. I would be right. Heck yes. go. I'm running a little low on water. Let's... Uh-huh, I saw that. Come on. Okay, sixty. That's good enough. enzyme and giving it to the sea emperor leviathan okay excuse me sometimes i swear this game does not know where i am Somewhere down here is um, the um, aha. That's it. That's what I need. Where's the way up? That's an easy question. If I follow these, they will eventually lead me up. Voila! Okay. Now I take the path out, I fabricate, and then I cure myself of this virus. Heck yes. I. Literally stop. I've got what I need. Let's go. Oh. Those are just land for that's fine. Alright, I won't be in here for long.
Thank you. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. 